Hello my fellow Retromaniacs and welcome to Let's Watch and Review uh, Super Mario Super Show Season 1 Episode 1 The Bird to Bird So yeah, I have never watched the, watched the Super Mario animated show uh, I don't think it was even uh, uh, shown in, in Finnish TV, but I know that uh, at least it was uh, released, uh, some of the episodes were released on videotapes, but um, yeah, that was, most of this was before my time, you know, I'm a, I'm a like 90s kid, so I, I never watched any of the 80s, 80s shows like Turtles or He-Man. So, yeah, and yeah, last time I watched the Legend of Zelda animated se series, and I think it was all right, you know, a little bit green, cringy, and um, and um, you know, not very, not very like uh, exciting or. Traumatic. It's more like slapstick. Kind of, kind of, you know, uh, uh, like funny kids TV show. You don't have to take it too seriously. And I expect the uh, same from this one. It you just cannot uh, expect too high quality. Hey, Paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! Do, 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 do. With the Mario Brothers <laughs> and Plumbing's a game, we're not like the others who get all the fame. If your sick is in trouble, you can call us on the double. We're faster than the others, you'll be hooked on the brothers. Uh. Yeah. Video game music and songs. Yeah. I think this show actually. So hang on to you see get ready for adventure and remarkable take lots of um, lots of um, inspiration from the second game as well you know Super Mario Bros 2 that is Doki Doki Panic So uh, yeah we have those birds from Super Mario Bros 2 maybe we got uh, we will see shy guys as well you know And obviously the music and sound effects are from the first game. Yeah, and the map and toad is... Uh, all the flying carpet is from the second game. And so yeah, th th at least uh, this one ha has more than one game to use as a source material. Unlike uh, The Legend of Zelda, which only had uh, the first game to use. Because Zelda 2 wasn't wasn't uh, released yet, so they couldn't use any of Zelda 2 enemies and places. Yeah, we have this old, old uh, Fire Mario uh, design. White overalls. <laughs> yeah, the new Super Mario Bros. movie came out just a few weeks ago, but I haven't seen it and I don't, I'm not too excited about it. You know, I'm not a big fan of CGI. I like a traditional animation, so I'm not sure if I'm going to even watch that. I've heard that it has uh, some good moments and it has lots of references, so if you're, if you're a gamer like me, you probably will notice lots of, uh, you know, lots of uh, uh, characters and things from the games. 
so that uh, you <laughs> almost have to like watch it frame frame by frame. But um, maybe I will watch it at some point. But there's just so much video game films and video game TV shows nowadays. And in the past, you know, I haven't seen any of them. So after this, I will probably watch um, the other Super Mario Bros. shows like Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World. Then I have a Mega Man games or Mega Man based shows and Sonic, then there's Donkey Kong Country, CGI show, and what else? We got we got um, Castlevania show. I haven't watched that. That, that is uh, that's in Netflix, I think. And um, Cuphead, the show, yeah. And um, what else? Final Fantasy, the film. I haven't seen that. So yeah, plenty, plenty to watch. If if I'm going to actually make a commentary of them, I don't know. Uh, the brothers, the brothers, the brothers. Oh, brothers. Yeah, everything in the '80s was about hip hop. Wait a second, is this Brooklyn? Looks like it. Oh yeah, this is like the live action part that. Uh, that always comes before and after the animation. It's just, just, I don't know, I don't remember the names of these actors, but yeah, I think they did a good work to like, uh, this is how I would actually picture real Mario. Over, overweight, middle-aged dude, you know. Time for new day. But as we always say, neatness counts. That's right, Mario. And by the way, a little piece of spaghetti on. I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Your overalls. <laughs> Luigi. And you have a little bit of. Yeah, they they look very, very nice. I have to I have to say, just like I would uh, expect them to be in a real life, you know. Sauce on your shirt. So many, so many Italian stereotype stereotypes already. Really? Your shoes are dirty. And your socks. Then we have this can't laugh. I don't know about that. Match. It's supposed to be like a sitcom parody, or not a parody at all. You got five cavities. Hello. Hello. I didn't say hello. I didn't either. Well, I did. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> uh, that's not Princess Toadstool. Mario Brothers. Sure. Uh, wait a second. Uh, is this like a, there's like a thing where it's like guest stars? Oh. Oh. One per episode. Wow, you're Nicola Eg Eggert. Uh, should I know her? You're Nicole Eggert. We watch your show all the time. Mario and I are your biggest fans. Yeah, maybe this is like uh, they use some of the other other uh, TV faces from the, if this from the same company who who made this show. You know, you know, if it's like ABC show, it's uh, using ABC's personnel and so on. I don't know. But obviously these parts probably were cut from the international release of the episode, so I guess that uh, the Finnish version all, only has the animated part and not the, not the live-action part. I'm checking the expiration date on your toothpaste. It's very important, you know. Can I come in? Sure, come on in! Nicole Lego. Well, it says right here that you two are the best plumbers in Brooklyn and quite possibly the world. <laughs> the best plumbers in Brooklyn and quite possibly the world. You clock them, we clear them. What else it says there? Teacher contract language completed. Nice job, Natalie. 
contest. Yes, Nicole, that is absolutely true. Not only that, but we are also very, very neat and clean. In fact, what do we always say, Mario? Hey, you slob, that's my pizza. <laughs> no, no, Neatness counts. Oh, yeah. Good. I need my kitchen sink fixed. You certainly come to the right place. We'll demonstrate right now just how good we are with absolutely no obligation. I really don't have much time. See, I'm on my way to a party. But this will only take a second. Hey, as you can see here, we have a clogged sink. And uh, we'll be fixing a few seconds. Luigi! Okay, I'm not supposed to laugh here. Uh, what is Mario doing? He's like uh, trying to touch her breasts. I'm not trying to touch her. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty creepy. Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. Okay, that was it. Yeah, no wonder why they cut those parts out from the VHS releases. Yo, it's the Mario Brothers, and plumbing's the game. More hip hop. We're working on the drain. When the princess a hand in the muscle land, so the action with the plumber should be hooked on the brothers. Yo, yo, yo. Evil Cooper and his troopers are up to misbehaving. They kidnap the princess mushroom land, needs saving. Abusing and confusing, everybody discovers they can't help but be hooked on the brothers. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got uh, even the music from uh, Super Mario Bros. 2. Do -do 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 Look, number 101. Number land 101. Of the land of ice. Me and my brother Luigi had just rescued Princess Toadstool from King Koopa and were looking for the magic that would set her kingdom free and get. What is it going to. Isn't it. Isn't the new Super Mario Bros. movie also set in, the, in Iceland? I don't know, but I've seen the trailer, so... I hope that they didn't use this show as a reference guide for the movie. Is that Birdo? She's doing there. What? Uh, why does uh, she have a uh, glasses? Supposed to be like a grandma. Boing, boing. Please, Mario. Toad saved my life a hundred times. We've got to save his. Don't worry. Yeah, I like this art style. It's, um, it's, um, you know, it's cartoony. And I think th this was the same art style that was used in the, in the, um, uh, manuals Princess? as well, and also in the CDI games. It was nice for the princess to have a, like a for us a dinner. Hey, Luigi, I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Luigi, Look, Luigi. it's from Bowser. Yep, basic plumbers. Climb that mountain before you can say spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah, lots of spaghetti and ravioli jokes in this show. I'm, I have to, 
I already know that there's gonna be a lot of them. I can't! <laughs> I'm allergic to mountains! How? Okay, wait here! And if you become lunch for a polar bear, don't blame us! P -p polar bear! P -p 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 polar bears. <laughs> so it is not polar, right? The bird, though, it's like a. She's like grandma. It's interesting that um, Doki Doki Panic uh, uh, enemies and characters were supposed to be like part of Mario canon, but uh, yeah, because it was it was uh, reskinned as a Mario game, all those enemies and bosses became part of Mario world as well. So yeah. Perdo, and I don't, I don't know if Ward or Mouser is gonna be in this game, in this show, but maybe. Cheapy, my darling little cheapy, give mommy a kiss. What? <laughs> what? Now, where did I put that telephone? Okay, she's clearly, clear, clearly a, like a Mr. Magoo type of character. No eyesight whatsoever. Hello? Oh, it's the missing bird bureau. You can call off the search for my missing baby. I found my. What? There was, there's like a Perdo Junior there. <laughs> That's not a character I recognize. Perdo Child. Uh, it was a terrible picture of you anyway, little cheapy. I'm not your little cheapy. Oh, cheapy. <laughs> Quit kidding around and give mommy a yeah, new, you need new classes. Oh, this is a fun game! Kiss them! Kiss them! Kiss them for a coming! <laughs> I gotta get out of here! We'll never save Toad now! <laughs> Perdo boss music. <laughs> he was the nicest little fungus I ever knew. <laughs> <laughs> nicest little fungus. <laughs> well, uh, technically he's right. Toad is a fungus. Luigi, we can't quit now. Remember the promise, Mario. The, the thing is that if Mario eats piece of Toad, will he get the superpowers? Who could forget? Don't take chances, or you'll go down the drain. No! When the pipe is plugged, keep plunging! Hasta power! Okay. Do you have uh, any super stars? Come on, Chris! Five flowers? I'm, I'm gonna enjoy these musics. Definitely. Hopefully, there's gonna be more than one rendition, you know? multiple renditions of the songs, otherwise they become a little bit annoying. See? I told you we'd be perfectly safe. It's them. Princess Toadstool and those two faucet freaks. Faucet freaks. Let's tell King Koopa so we can put him on oh, ice. Oh, wait a second. Those are the enemies uh, from Super Mario Bros. 2. The ice levels, yeah. Good. I haven't played the game for a while, so... So I probably won't remember all those enemies. 
but I get I get that uh, I take it that uh, they didn't create new enemies for the show that but everything is from the games well, at last you two powder puffs. okay this this Bowser uh, he looks uh, he looks all right better than Ganon because Ganon looked a little bit weird he almost looked like Bowser if if I'm honest, with the crocodile kind of crocodile kind of uh, head and the teeth. Something right. Go okay. Why is Bowser in the in the ice ca in the ice castle? Uh, or is it like uh, he always have to change his his castle and his place. So there's like multiple multiple places him to stay. You your extremist most royal and regal goopiness. Watch it, soldier! What I want Although it it's never explained in the in the first game that where Bowser actually lives in because because those castles uh he cannot live in all of them, and uh, he all, always dies there. But that's just uh, like a decoy that dies. So it's the final eight, eight, eight world eight level four castle where he actually lives in real, in real. But there should be like lava and s stuff, not ice. I don't know. Don't question game logic or <laughs> kids TV show logic based on video game logic that's a good joke this will be the last time those pinhead plumbers throw a monkey wrench into my evil plans <laughs> attention Koopa Koopa it's airy time uh, wait a second, why is there no Paracoupas, you know? They got, they, they know, they know that they could use uh, Super Mario Bros. 1 enemies, and there's uh, like already flying Paracoupas. <laughs> it's always in the kids show that there's like characters that never listen. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> I almost forgot. It's time for your flying lessons. Oh no. I just hope we can reach Toad before something terrible happens to him. Oh, it's worse. Cheer up, Luigi. It could be worse. Worse. Uh, there's, there's not much happening in the episode, I have to say. Mario and Princess and Luigi are just uh, climbing up the mountain. For most of the episode, so yeah. How could it be worse? <laughs> Bob -bombs. Mario! It's a Bobomb! And I was hoping for a nice salami sandwich. <laughs> okay, now we got the uh, castle music. Look out! Here comes a whole 
Yeah, so easy to counter. Not good enough. Those other albatross are up to something. I really like the I really like the sound design and music design in this in this show. It's very well done but by utilizing the video game sound effects with the familiar themes of the game and also some incidental music. Yeah, even though it that's not from the from the games, but it still sounds like video game is. You did. Oh, this. Obviously, there there was supposed to be like a commercial break, ad break there. Yeah, the animation is quite simple, you know. Here, not not very, uh, you know, uh, Disney standard, you no know, multiplane cameras or any. Interesting, interesting, you know, animation, panning. But you know, this was a low budget kid show, so you could, couldn't expect more than the bare minimum. At least there's some effects here and there, you know, like this shaky, shaky, shaky camera effect. And you know, all of this was done by hand and animated by hand and watercolored and painted with real real paint. So yeah, a lot of work was done just in order to get one episode done. Uh, everything was, ha was running like 24 frames per second, so 24 frames. Needed for for every second, so many cells for every scene. So I guess also if there's like animated cells available on auction, they they are quite pricey nowadays. At least Toad hasn't uh, got a too annoying voice. I was afraid that he would sound like in in the in Mario uh, Mario Party games. You know the modern voice of Toad. It's like like I cannot even do that voice, but it's you know what I'm what I'm talking about. Toad voice. Cannot listen to that for more than one second. Oh, what a unexpected Deus Ex moment! No, it's magic. If you can reach it, you can become a Super Mario. Oh, special firepower that can he doesn't even know at this point that there's like. Five flower power. And destroy King Koopa's evil helpers. That's easy. Come on, Luigi. <laughs> patty cake, patty cake, pasta man. Give me pasta power as fast as you pasta can. Pasta power. Pasta power. <laughs> Everything has to be about Italian pasta. I love when that happens. Italian food. Could it Luigi also use that fire flower? The call of cruelty. I, the devious King Koopa, bestow these medals at the double cross. We have important news, your royal Koopas. The princess and her plumbers survived the avalanche. They 
Wait a second. I thought that Bowser just wants to kidnap Princess and marry her, not kill them. But here he's like happy to hear that Princess was killed in the avalanche. So I don't know what's going on. I'd pay 200 bucks for a nice pepperoni cheesecake right now. <laughs> Who called me cheap? I'll pay 300 bucks. Look! What is that thing? It's a baby bird, Luigi. Baby bird, oh. It needs our help. It's frozen inside. Well, I was saying that uh, I haven't... Uh, I haven't seen any baby bird character in the Mario universe, but maybe, maybe nowadays there is a baby bird because there's like Baby Mario and Baby Luigi and Baby Bowser, so why not Baby Birdo? I think there's also Baby Princess as well, so... It's like it's like Tiny Toons. Or Baby Toons, every, everyone has their baby counterpart. The ice! Stand back! Is there soft snow to land? Wait a second. Look at his head. <laughs> he has no forehead. Where's his brain? A little bit hair as well, if you look closely. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, ending credits. Are you all right? I feel great. I just passed my voice flying lesson. Hey, it's me. <laughs> I mean him. It's little Chibi, the Boydo's real lost baby. Little Chibi won his mommy. Toad, do you know where his mommy is? Up. Ah, just like in the game, when he gets hit, he loses his superpower, but at least in this animated show he doesn't become small Mario, that would look weird. Don't worry Mario, we'll beat him without superpowers. It's too late princess, they got us surrendered. <laughs> it's all over scum scrubbers. Scum scrubbers. <laughs> Oh. We did. Retreat! Retreat! Oh my god, there's onions falling down us. <laughs> how, how, how do they even hurt them? Yeah, it seems that Birdo is like ally in this in this uh, 
rendition, and not an enemy, evil enemy, or maybe if there's gonna be whole clan of Birdo, there's gonna be a, like evil Birdo as well. If it's like a race of, of uh, Birdo characters, Birdo being just one, one uh, character here. Funny to see Bowser riding a snowmobile. Thanks, lady. We couldn't have done it without you. You saved my little cheap babe. Would you like to come to dinner? Dinner? That's the best news I've had in days. <laughs> I cooked this just for you, Mario. My favorite recipe. My favorite dish, spaghetti. Spaghetti? We're not spaghetti. We're worms. And alive once. Worms? I've never been so insulted in my whole life. You're gonna be eaten. Oh, Nicole, I'm so. Oh, you are back here. Uh, okay. What are we having here? Wet t-shirt contest? That happened before. Oh yeah? What about the time when we drenched the mailman? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh no, 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 oh, 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 oh. Why don't you come up here and, 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 and stay by the furnace? It's nice and warm, it'll dry you off. I'll move the cake. Oh, oh. <laughs> what is this place? This almost reminds me of like a Teletubbies. With the weird gadgets. Okay, I have a feeling that uh, not many TV stars wanted to be part of this show after this treatment of her. Oh, I'm sorry. It does that once in a while. Oh, holy oh, Nicole, this is terrible. Come over here. Ha ha! Oh. Wait a second, who was there? Ah, you can see the hand. Or something. Pulling, pushing stuff. This is terrible. Yeah, but somehow on her it looks good. What are you looking for? Something to clean the coal up with. Here you go. Lint brush. You know what ideas? Yeah, how about showing us some scenes for the next Legend of Zelda? <laughs> oh, wait a second. Oh, okay, it's just, it's cut. So yeah, this, uh, between this live action, there's, there's supposed to be one episode of Super Mario, one episode of Legend of Zelda. Got it. Okay, but um, I can skip this one. Already see, already watched that. This Friday. We'll pay for everything. No, don't worry about oh, it. Oh, please, Nicole, we'll do all your plumbing for free. No, really, it's okay. We'll make you free pizza. Yeah, we'll wash your clothes. <laughs> we'll make your bed, we'll brush your teeth. Well, I told you not to worry about it. See, actually, this is perfect. It is? Yeah, remember I was telling you I was going to a party? Yeah. Well, it's a sloppy party. See, the person who dresses the sloppiest wins. <laughs> you saved me a trip of picking up a costume. The sloppier, the better. How about that? Really? Well, in that case... Yay! Till next time, everybody! Do the Mario! Do the Mario. Swing your arms from side to side. So complex. Your
comes from side to side. Come on, it's time to go do the Mario. Take one step and then again, let's do the Mario. Yeah, this is like a proper meme nowadays. It's the Mario. Do the Mario swing your arm. And in the end, uh, he almost falls down after the jumping. And then again, let's do the Mario all together now. Come on now, just like that. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Well, that was fun. Well, I enjoyed it. You know, it's a carefree, carefree kid show, and you know, there's nothing to be annoyed. So yeah, I I, I look forward to to watch new more episodes. Until that, bye bye.